Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice functional equations? We have a function in other functions, which is a composite. f of f of x equals x squared minus x plus 1. And uh, what is f of 0? So let's solve this problem quickly. If we consider the solution from here, uh, the question says f of f of x so this equals x squared minus x plus 1 let's introduce f to both sides if i introduce function to both sides we have f of f of f of x so this equals so we introduce function to this separate as we have this as f square of x minus f of x plus 1. And why is this one? Because f of 1 is a constant, so it remains 1. Then after this, so we should observe that f of f of x here is equivalent to x squared minus x plus 1. So by replacing this with x squared minus x plus 1, we are going to have f of x squared minus x plus 1 equals f squared of x minus f of x plus 1. So after getting this, if this is x squared minus x plus 1 as the domain of these functions, so suppose I let x to be equals 1. That is, every place we see x here, we'll be replacing it with 1 and to this side as well. So into here, we are going to have f of 1 squared minus 1 plus 1 equals f squared of 1 minus f of 1 plus 1. So after solving this problem to the last stage, so I want uh, another method in the comment box so that we can learn together. So I think this is the best method I think we can use to solve this, but I, it's, there must be another method for solving this same problem. So let's drop it in the comment box. Thank you in advance. So one cancelled one, and we have this as f of one equals f squared of 1 minus f of 1 plus 1. So this side we have f of 1 and this is also f of 1. Suppose I transfer this f of 1 to other side. So this side becomes f squared of 1. So when it's coming here, it changes to minus f of 1. Then we still have minus f of 1 plus 1 equals 0. Then we have f squared of 1 minus f of 1 minus f of 1. This gives us 2 f of 1 plus 1 equals 0. Then if you compare this with a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So this is equivalent to a minus b raised to the power of 2. So this expression becomes f of 1 minus 1 all raised to the power of 2 equals 0. And if this equals to 0, then you can conclude that f of 1 minus 1 equals 0. If you take the square root of both sides, so plus or minus 0 is still 0. So therefore, our f of 1 equals 1. So if f of 1 equals 1, we are going to start this. And again, we are going to assume that if x equals 0 and see what will be the output of this because we need f of 0 first. But let's see, uh, we have obtained what is f of 1. So let's see what will be f of 0 when we let x equals 0. If x equals 0, 
we are going to substitute it into f of x squared minus x plus 1 equals f squared of x minus x plus uh, minus f of x plus 1. So this was what we got above when we substituted x equals 1. Then for x equals 0, we have 0 squared minus 0 plus 1 equals f squared of 0 minus f of 0 plus 1. So this cancelled and we have f of 1 as well. So this equals f squared of 0 minus f of 0 plus 1. But we have gotten f of 1 above to be 1. So we change this f of 1 to 1. We have 1 equals f squared of 0 minus f of 0 plus 1. So 1 cancelled 1. Then we have f squared of 0 minus f of 0 equals 0. And from this, if you have f squared of 0, suppose I factor out f of 0. So in this bracket, we are going to have f of 0 as well, minus 1 equals 0. So since we have this tool, and by quadratic rule, if you have a, b equals to 0, so it shows that a equals to 0 and b equals 0. So if I let f of 0 equals 0. So which means we're still going to have f of 0 equals 1. But wait, are these two satisfied? We need f of 0, right? This is f of 0 equals 0, and we still have f of 0 equals 1. Which one should we take as the final answers? So let's try and verify which of these satisfy the given uh, questions as it was asked that find f of 0, but we got to f of 0. Let's see the one that we satisfied. So if you recall back from the given problem that f of f of x, this equals x squared minus x plus 1. So if I change this x to 0, for instance, we are going to have f of f of 0 equals 0 squared minus 0 plus 1. And into here, we have f of... So f of 0 initially, it was 0. And this equals 1. But again, f of 0 here is still also equals 0. And if I look at this, 0 here is not equals 1, which means we are going to reject this first one. And if we check for the second one, for f of 0 equals 1. As for f of 0 equals 1, let's change this as well. We have f of f of 0, this equals 1, right? And uh, f of 0 has been given to be 1, so we have f of 1 equals 1. But f of 1 again is also equals 1. And we shows that 1 equals 1. So this one alone, it has verified the first one that we got. And uh, it also verified that 1 equals 1. And this was gotten from when we test for f of 0 equals 1. So therefore, f of 0 equals 1 is the only uh, answer that we got here. That f of 0 equals to 0 is not the solution. So this is how we solve this problem. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and drop the other solution that you think uh, we can use to solve this problem. See you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.